Hello everyone! We celebrate World Environment Day on 5th June every year. However, this year the UNEP, that's the United Nations Environment Program, has introduced a diverse plan of action on environment conservation in its website. And this video is devoted to running through the same. We, instead of showing the slides themselves, decided to make a short video and explanation on the same. Let's begin, shall we? The foods we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the climate that makes our planet habitable all come from nature. Yet these are exceptional times in which nature is sending us a message to care for ourselves. We must care for nature. It's time to wake up, to take notice, to raise our voices. It's time to build back better for people and planet. This World Environment Day, it's time for nature. Now, in this year, COVID-19 has affected all of us, and it is known as a zoonotic disease. Let's look at what are zoonotic diseases. Animals can sometimes carry harmful germs that can spread to people and cause illness. These are known as zoonotic diseases or zoonoses. Zoonotic diseases are caused by harmful germs like viruses, bacteria, parasites, and fungi. Animals can sometimes appear healthy even when they're carrying germs that can make people sick, depending on the zoonotic disease. Biodiversity is the foundation that supports all life on land and below water. It affects every aspect of human health, providing clean air and water, nutritious foods, scientific understanding, and medicine sources, natural disaster resistance, natural disease resistance, and climate change mitigation. Changing or removing one element of this web affects the entire life system and can produce negative consequences. The emergence of COVID-19 has underscored the fact that when we destroy biodiversity, we destroy the system that supports human life. And that is the starter for the World Environment Day 2020 Practical Guide. And this guide is for individuals, faith groups, businesses, cities, governments, schools, universities, youth groups, and civil society. It's time for nature. World Environment Day Guide. The theme for World Environment Day, 5 June 2020, is biodiversity. A call to action to combat the accelerating species loss and degradation of the natural world. One million plant and animal species risk extinction, largely due to human activities. Hosted by Colombia in partnership with Germany, World Environment Day urges us to rethink how our economic systems have evolved and the impact they have on the environment. These are issues the world cannot lose sight of even as we tackle the coronavirus pandemic and the ongoing climate crisis. Colombia has one of the highest diversities of species in the world, boasting about many others, 3,500 types of orchids and 19% of the world's bird types. The government has made biodiversity preservation a national priority. The World Environment Day website provides latest updates on registration, online events, the agenda, and live feeds on the program Time for Nature. And this is the website www.worldenvironmentday.global slash question mark C equals one. Let's look at what is biodiversity and why does it matter? Biodiversity or biological diversity is the variability of living things that makes up life on Earth. It encompasses the 8 million or so species on the planet, from plants and animals to fungi and bacteria. The ecosystems that house them, such as oceans, forests, mountain environments, and coral reefs, as well as the genetic diversity found among them. Healthy ecosystems, rich with biodiversity, are fundamental to human existence. Ecosystems sustain human life in a myriad of ways, 
cleaning our air, purifying our water, ensuring the availability of nutritious foods, nature-based medicines, and raw materials, and also reducing the occurrence of disasters. But we have not taken care of nature. We're witnessing unparalleled bushfires in Brazil, the United States, and Australia, locust invasions in the Horn of Africa, and the death of coral reefs. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the latest in a string of zoonotic disease outbreaks, shows that the planet's health is linked to our health. What is at stake here? Biodiversity, the essential variety of life forms on Earth, continues to decline in every region of the world, significantly reducing nature's capacity to contribute to people's well-being. This alarming trend endangers economies, livelihoods, food security, and the quality of life of people everywhere, according to four landmark science reports written by more than 550 leading experts from over 100 countries. From the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services 2019. So now, the UNEP is asking you to help. How? This practical guide is structured in three parts. Learn, share, and act. It's sensitive to the fact that many people may be isolating due to the COVID-19 pandemic. All you need to participate is a connection to the internet, a book, or even just your imagination. Learn. Being confined to our homes is the perfect opportunity to learn more about the wild species and habitats with which we share our planet. This time indoors can be a chance to reflect on the role of nature in our lives and the ways in which we can advocate for positive change. Share. In the build-up to World Environment Day, which is 5th June, UNEP will be opening conversation threads in eight languages across its social media channels. We will be asking you to tell us why it's time Hashtag for nature. This will be the opportunity for you to share why you love our natural world, for governments to showcase their efforts to protect nature and for organizations to advocate for their cause. Act. Following 5th of June and leading up to the 5th UN Environment Assembly in 2021, where the world's environment ministers will set global priorities. We ask all of you to begin to act on the knowledge you have acquired to, end, to help end biodiversity loss and the climate crisis. Only by doing our part can we allow nature to heal and ensure a better and healthier future for everyone. You're just an individual staring at home and staring at the sky. What can individuals do here? Each one of us has a role to play in ending biodiversity loss and preserving nature for human well-being. As individuals, we must rethink what we buy and use and become conscious consumers. If we are to change our current course of destruction to one of custodianship of nature, we must first learn about what we can do, share, that knowledge with our family and friends on World Environment Day and beyond. And finally, act on the things we need to change. What can schools and teachers do in this campaign? Schools and teachers have a critical role to play in nurturing young people's affinity for nature and building curricula that underscore the value of biodiversity and interest in future green job opportunities that applies to schools and teachers even in the pandemic. If we are to change the current course of destruction to one of environmental custodianship, we must first learn about what we can do, share that knowledge with our communities on World Environment Day, and finally act on the things we need to change. What can the youth and youth groups do in particular. Young people are the future, and the decisions made now will determine the kind of world you will inherit. 
increasingly are making your voices heard with real impact. Young people have a role to play in preventing biodiversity loss and preserving nature for our future. If we are to change the course of destruction, we must first learn about what we can do. Share that knowledge with our communities on World Environment Day. And once it's safe to do so, act on the things we need to change. For more of the information regarding the practical guide leading to World Environment Day by the United Nations Environment Program, please visit their website www.worldenvironmentday.global. We at Brain Blitz Audios made this video as part of our social responsibility of raising awareness. We are a company intending to provide free education to all. For availing our services, visit our YouTube page www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Brain Blitz Audios. If you like this video, then please share it to every single one of your contacts and proclaim to the whole wide web, the whole world wide web, that it's time for nature. Goodbye and stay safe.